Welcome to Foodie Lounge, presented to you by IndiaInTax.com and Suleka.com. Myself, Levin Johnson, and I've got Arjun here to assist me. Today's recipe is going to be Urla Kalanga Podimas. It's a typical Tamil Nadu dish. It's a potato dish. I just bit of tempering you'll see for the recipe itself and now I'm just going to run through the ingredients for you potatoes just cut nicely into cubes not too big at the same time not too very fine it has to be even coconut oil 20 ml mustard seeds 5 grams jeera 5 grams Bengal gram dal 8 grams split urad dal 8 grams split cashew nuts 8 grams chopped green chilies 10 grams chopped ginger 10 grams 15 grams of chopped onions 10 grams of curry leaves 8 grams of hing 5 grams of turmeric powder, salt for seasoning, and then you have grated coconut to garnish. For the Urla Kalanga Podimas, you, may, you need a pot like this in which you could boil the potatoes, and then a round bottom pan that is just to temper and finish off the dish. So we start with, we're just going to get the potatoes on to boil. Just enough water to cover, and you can get the lid on. Just to double check here again, you don't really want the potatoes to be totally mashed up. Make sure the potatoes are still in shape. At this point, you could just put it to simmer and we could start off here with the tempering for the Urlokalang Podimas. Start off with coconut oil. Let it heat up for a minute or so. You got to start off with the Bengal dal. Seems to take a little longer than the cumin seeds and the mustard seeds. And just sweat it off until it gets nice golden brown. We're ready to go with the mustard seeds, then the cumin seeds, urad dal. Or you could just break the cashew nuts. Just half teaspoon of green chili, ginger, and chopped onions. Curry leaves can go in as well at the same time. Just when the onions are sweated off and nice and soft in here. That's when you need to get your turmeric powder in. All this while you got to make sure none of this ingredients that you see in here has to be burned. Just nice golden color on Bengal gram dal. And that's the hing. While the turmeric is cooking off, we could uh, just strain the potatoes here. As you see, the potatoes are still in shape. That's a must. It shouldn't get mashed up. Add in the potatoes here. Season it at this point. A good mix just to make sure that the turmeric is nicely coated on the potatoes here. And also to make sure the spices blends in beautifully with the potatoes, you just sprinkle a little bit of water on it. Just enough to bind the spices along with the potatoes and a good stir and we could get the lid on. Uh, for the puddy mask, what is very important here is not to lose the shape of the potatoes here. At the same time, just before you serve it, it has to blend in and it has to be binded in. So just throw in just enough water just to break it loose but not losing the shape here. You could add in a bit of desiccated coconut at this stage or you could just use it just for the garnish and just a bit of desiccated garnish coconut and it's ready to be served. <music>